hello you guys welcome to like my first real official video of uh this mom cooks and today we're going to do something pretty simple i'm just going to show y'all how to cook some regular schmegla hot dogs and beans beans and franks or whatever you might call it but anyway the first thing i'm going to do is go ahead and get this onion chopped up and i'll be right back okay so now i'm going to just show you how i chop up my onion or dice my onion it's, it's nothing really hard about it just make sure you watch your fingers I just do it just like this be careful on this part and I'm not going to use the whole onion because this is a big onion and I only have um, four cans of beans anyway so I don't want to overpower them with the beans because um, of the onions can be real potent for real for real. All right, that should be good enough for my little bit of cans. All right, so now I'm going to chop the hot dogs. Okay, so I got six hot dogs. Um, you can use more or less if you want. I just like my franks and beans kind of meaty and another thing i don't do i do not boil my hot dogs i don't like boiled hot dogs at all i like my hot dogs with a little chard on them let them hot dogs sizzle in that pan a little bit before i just dump my hot dog in there no light skin hot dogs <laughs> i like them a little burnt but anywho I'm going to go ahead and dice all of these up, and then I'll come back and show you what I do next. Okay, so now that we got our hot dogs chopped up, we got our onions diced, we're going to go ahead and warm up your pan. I got my pan on like a medium, between medium and high heat, more medium than high. I got one half of a stick of butter, preferably parquet. That's the best butter ever. Get you some. All right. I'm going to put that in there, and after that sizzles down a little bit, I'm going to dump my hot dog in. Don't be afraid to use some butter. We love butter. All right. Now, I'm just going to dump my hot dog in. Now, this is something simple and fast that you can cook for the kids. You just got off of work. You don't feel like doing nothing, but they talking about, Mom, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. This will take you, like, less than 30 minutes, like, seriously. All right. Now, that's going to go ahead and fry up. And while these are frying, I'm going to dump my onions in with it also. Now we're going to let these fry up a little bit. Go ahead and stir it up. Let it get kind of all coated with that butter. We're going to stir this up. Let that sit for a minute. Toss a few more times till it gets to, you know, like the charredness that you want it to be. And then you're going to dump your beans right inside of the bowl. Well, inside of the pan with this. All right. Now you guys see how it's starting to get that little brownness on the outside of the hot dogs? That's what I want. That's how I want mine to look. Look at that. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Yep. Alright, so now I'm ready to go ahead and pour my beans in. I got four cans. And make sure y'all wash those cans off before you just pop them open and use them. And I got beef hot dogs, by the way, by ballpark. For some reason, the beef ones have more flavor in them than me. Can number three and can number four. Make sure you get it all out. 
Now, <clears throat> what I like to do after I get all of my beans in and get it kind of stirred up or whatever, as you can see, it's kind of thick. Beans are always kind of thick. Well, the Campbell's ones anyway. That's why I like them. I don't like those other brand cans of uh, pork and beans. Not to say that they're nasty. It's just that they're a little light color for me. I like my beans a little dark. And Campbell's always got the best beans. All right. So now that we got that stirred up, I always like to add just a little bit of water. Because first of all, this is going to be cooking for a minute. I like to cook my beans for like at least 30 minutes after I add the hot dogs. And this that little bit of water will loosen up those beans. And it will not take away from the flavor. Alright, so now, you see how the consistency is now? A little looser. More pliable. <laughs> Now, I'm going to add some sugar. Now, you can add as much sugar as you want to. Don't overdo it, though. Um, I don't like to put a lot of sugar in there, but I like to put enough to taste. And this right here is like four tablespoons. I'm not sure if I'm going to add all of it, but taste as you go. Now, I'm going to add a little bit of pepper. And you can add salt if you want to. A lot of people add salt to theirs. I'm not going to put any salt in mine. And I only say that because I used a half a stick of parquet butter. And, you know, that got a nice kick of salt to it. I've seen people put ketchup in their beans and breaks out. That's, that's not how I do mine. This is pretty much the way I do mine. You do yours the way you want to. You always grab a little bit of something from everybody. But all right, now what I'll do now is I will turn this down to like, on my stove I got numbers, so I'm going to say I'm going to turn mine down to four, then I'm going to cover, let simmer for 30 minutes or so, and then I'll come back and show you how it looks when it's done. Alrighty, it has been 30 or so minutes. Ta-da! That is what I want it to look like right there. Now, you can go ahead and serve. Look at that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So now, I'm just going to go ahead and plate. All right, let's go ahead and get some of this deliciousness on this plate. Mm-mm-mm. And for real, for real, I would serve this with a, a Hawaiian roll or a Sister Schubert roll, some type of roll on the side. I mean, because what else do you make with beans and franks? This is pretty much the whole meal right here. 30 minutes, quick, easy, easy to fix as soon as you get off of work while you help the kids with their homework. That's it. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. let it cool off because that will burn the skin right off your lips but anywho thank you for watching my video please return again i promise to make new videos in the future um trying to get used to this thing and um like and subscribe thank you